Let me see. Boing. Wow. Boing. Wait, was that a transition? <laughs> yeah. Wow. I, was supposed to, I should have used the one you gave me, but I don't. I don't have it queued up. I don't worry about it. It's not that big a deal. We should have been live this whole time. Well, then I wouldn't have talked. About yeah, all those but then things. we can. Nobody wants to hear us. I don't know. Pre-show banner. Here's what. I, but our, our what our viewers don't realize right now is that they're garbage. They're trash. Because we're about to have. <laughs> we're about to have real viewers. Yeah, we're about that to give have, real super chats. Yeah, at a hundred bucks. A bunch of people with a uh, deep, deep pockets. pockets. Well, I don't know about that. Deep pockets and a deep resentment for injustice. <laughs> That they want to solve by throwing money at it, oh, which is fine. I'm not saying. I'm not saying. What I was saying is that you know we appreciate the hundred of you who are here, but we have set up a very special situation where we are going to be raided. That's kind of what guest. you were saying. No, no, no. We, look we, at uh, this. Look at this. Another hundred dollars super chat. Wait, from for Andy? For Andy? Yeah, because it's on the way out. To stand up for truth, she has to face the truth of herself, face her disorder. How can she face the truth without Andy getting that? <laughs> we shouldn't be talking smack. <laughs> He's about to come on. Oh, well, uh, look. You've got now. You I'm get the chat on the screen. You got to move oh, it over. Oh shit! Ah, get out of here! <laughs> get out of here, chat! Yeah. Slide, just slide it over. I don't want to slide it over because I don't know what's underneath that. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, I hate that too. Then I'm getting flamenco exactly you're gonna end up giving away your address and everything else that's the one thing about streaming that is uh, terrifying the danger like, of streaming what if i open my porn folder and everyone sees all my pornography it's the worst it thing should honestly world. it should have a setting so you could blur out all text like the computer knows what text is well andy says coming in a sec and we'll i'm gonna read his i'm gonna read his super chats <laughs> he should otherwise she will continue to destroy anything good in her life yeah. If she wants to be a light and leave a legacy of love behind, what is that? There's like no, a, there's it's no. It's like time. alliteration. Yeah. She wants to leave a legacy of a love legacy and of light, light behind. And love. I'll lick a lollipop in, in the hammer. land of lollygaggers. She has to get the right help. You think the same people that told Kyle Rittenhouse he should go risk his life to defend a used car dealership are the ones that told him to build the cringiest brand ever made? What is his brand currently? Just going out on stage and. Shooting guns for fun or whatever. That would be fun. If he, I, he, well, this he, show let me do his brand. Look, you're going to walk out there. You're going to have Terminator glasses on. And you're just going to go, <laughs> take it, bitch. Come take it out of my dead hands, you fucking pedophiles. And then go shoot two guns <laughs> into the rafters, right? Yeah. I fill them with blanks. I don't care. And then walk, throw them down and walk off. That's your brand. Why is that kid? Is he selling anything? What? What is he, he almost selling? Sold, he melted his gun down. Yeah. So he can't sell that. Yeah, well, they let him. He, he didn't ask for the gun back, right? That was the big thing. Sick. <laughs> it would have been a, a trophy of the night. Oh, my God. Oh, yeah. All of Andy Signoria's viewers are coming over for this. a nice, peaceful comedy stream. We're going, <laughs> that Rittenhouse kid should have kept the gun that killed all those people. Should be hanging in the conservative Smithsonian. There's two Smithsonians. I just don't know how. Smithsonian. Why is he not selling a brand of coffee? <laughs> why is, I've said Rittenhouse's roast would sell so well. Do you want a beer? Uh, what is it? It's gonna. Do you want all, some of my gay beer? Isn't it all hoppy? You get like the hoppiest IPAs. No, I do not. What if is you, it? Vito? Yeah. If this was the hoppiest IPA, your mouth would have turned inside out. It's still out. an IPA. I don't like IPAs. Ugh. I don't like okay. India. Okay. I don't like the pale India, most of all. I'm missing a beer. There's three, there's four in here. Yeah. Hmm. And you've drank one. I drank one. And there was Did two. Did you pop both? Did you put one on the ground? Something is amiss. Did somebody steal one of your gay beers? <sighs> well, there's going to be big Neon trouble rainbows. to pay. Well, I wish big. I had a cup. I would try a sip. But uh, That's presumptuous. What? You're not getting a bite of my beer. Why not? Because I want the whole thing. Let me get a bite. <laughs> Let me get, a, get bite. a bite. That's a problem in itself. Uh, no kidding. Well, uh, Dick. Bef oh, hi. Look, they're they're looking at us. Oh, hello. Oh, maybe they. <laughs> I hope we weren't talking about Kyle Rittenhouse. No, we weren't. Of course not. Are they here? <laughs> What's Is up, the people Andy? have arrived. This feels like drive time radio. You know, like yeah. when they do the cross, the switchovers, the transitions. Hey, you're looking at Booger in the Fudge on WXRT. <laughs> KP90. Or when they would fight and they would play. Like, here's a clip from this show of them shitting on me. This was like early internet blood sports, but the radio. Yeah. You can go ahead and do your... I know you 
busy texting Andy to get him in here. No, I'm not. I was. I'm, not, I'm, I'm saying it's good that you're. I wanted to see how many people I were watching the show. Prefer that you pay attention to getting Andy in here and not listen to me. I hate when people talk to me while I'm trying to whilst I'm trying to do things. Well, I just wanted to say thank you to everyone who's raiding from Popcorned Planet. Oh, are they? Yeah, we have 1.8 thousand or whatever, 1,800 people are currently in here. Because the raid of the big is underway. Any of the big donors? trying to steal Look Andy's at this, donations. Look at this, 100 bucks. Have you ever <laughs> even gotten a $100 Super Chat? Uh, like once or twice, maybe. Well, Andy's doing a great service. Look at this. To the community of- Leo Mc- McCain. Yeah. Couch. That's all, 99 bucks he paid to say couch to Andy. Guys, we'll read all of your Super Chats. <laughs> you give us a Super Chat, I'll read it, I swear to God. I don't, okay. care, if, it I says, don't care if I have to be here all night. A- Andy says he's he's in the waiting oh, room, yeah, okay, so you have admit. to let him into the show. Okay, okay, okay. And then somehow get him up here. How you been, Andy? What's up? It's so good to be here. Thanks for having me, guys. We're excited to have you. You know, Andy, you actually are, uh, this is a very special occasion. You are our first ever video guest. You're our first uh, remote guest, which is why we have no idea what we're doing. Yeah. Why are you making him so small compared to us? Bro. (laughs) I'm about. (laughs) Jack him up. about fucking two seconds. Jack him up more. There, look. No, a little more. There you go. Yeah, like that. Okay. Jack me off? Yeah, jack yeah, him I'm off. Yeah, jacking you up. He doesn't there, have to fill the whole thing. He doesn't have to. Well, yeah, whatever. There, fine. And then bring him in centered. Hey, it looks great. Now, that's mm, a show. Okay. What What else are you going to do? <laughs> it's the internet. Andy, you, Andy. Look, you look great. Thanks for rating okay. us with your fans. Are you charging uh, money yeah, for it's, that? Yeah, you know, Vito, you, you're sending me $100, right, Vito? I, I would pay you more than 100 bucks for these raids, I tell you what. You got yeah. to start monetizing this. This is a whole I other revenue stream. Wow. Yeah, well, you'll be giving it away to Lewis and a British girl and everybody. No, I know who they are. <laughs> what a good way to I love stuff. I'm surprised you know that you, you kept the bitterness in for like 12 seconds. The Before. second the camera was fixed, out it flows <laughs> like spice. All right, are you guys ready to start this show? Yes, I'm Andy, ready. you don't have all fucking night. I know you're a busy guy. You are a guy that never stops. Like I was just shark. tweeting for you guys, so I at least... Love. I'm so ready to do this, Tick. Tell me what we're doing. Well, uh, we're about to do the intro music, which you might not be able to hear. I don't know. Is it in the mix? I think you can so. Trim all this. You know that trick, right, Dick? Yeah, we know how to trim. <laughs> Vito <laughs> just, <laughs> Vito <laughs> just, <laughs> just, just told me about that. Yeah, actually, v- <laughs> Dick was like, I can't edit stuff out of the middle of an episode. I'm like, yes, you can. What are you talking about, you idiot? I was like <laughs> downloading it and doing uh, yeah, premiere and, and doing it, it all shitty. Uh, okay. Not, this like nothing ever went wrong. It's perfect. Here we go. Let's do it. Oh, that's nice and toasty. Ooh. What's the name of the show, Dick? It's the biggest problem in the uh, universe. Welcome to the biggest problem in the universe. The only show that ranks every problem in the universe from manufactured hate to jailing the straight. Ooh, Justin. That's a good I'm one. I'm your host, Dick Masterson. Joining me as always, Vito Giswaldi. Hey, Dick. Happy to be here. And via satellite, let's say, for a very special, uh, very special guest is Andy Signore. Wow. God, you got a special guest with the worst quality. It's like I'm going through a drive through on that video. Jesus Christ. I mean, it, well, from our perspective, it looks good, but we have it jacked doesn't you look, up. No, it doesn't look good. Compared to us, <laughs> like, you can see the grease coming out of our pores. <laughs> you can you can taste what we had for dinner. Just uh, my cameras are so yeah, high resolution. My, no, it's... Yeah, it's uh, the fu- the problem is that we're jack- We're taking your Google video... And we're jacking it. And we're, and then we're, we're jacking, jacking up. up the size jacking, of it. We're jacking it up. Like, it looks good on the Google, but it doesn't look you good. You don't want to anyway. be HD on these shows, I've learned. I'm going to win no matter how I look, guys. <laughs> uh, well, you, you, you do have a certain segment of the... Uh, voting audience on your side, and that's an exciting part of the show. The incel audience that some of your audience might not know. Not incels. The incel. No. Right. No. People who believe in truth and okay. Uh, say a little bit. Well, I want to let people know at home that a part of the show is that you can vote on the problems we're going to give here today. You vote by super chatting. Yeah. Well, some of the people bucks. watching might know that's not how you vote. You don't have to donate a hundred dollars. Me, Dude, Dick, and Andy. Someone already paid you a thousand dollars for my for my crew. Really. 
Oh, yeah, oh my Max god! Impressive. Ouch! I hope oh it's not. I hope god. it's not the guy I said I would name my dick after him if he donated a hundred bucks. <laughs> <laughs> but I guess I will. Well, we will be visiting the super chats at the end of the show. Yeah, but so, I do. I do feel like we should explain the format real quick for all the new people because there's okay. like two thousand new people. Yeah, the idea, I know you love explaining things. I Go do ahead. love explaining <laughs> things. It's helpful to people. You love leaving people in the dark and assuming everybody knows everything about your life. Point is, biggest problem in the universe is a show where each guest brings in a problem, which yeah. we will be arguing is the biggest problem in the universe. And you, the fans at home, get to go to biggestproblem.show and vote on who brought the biggest problem to that week's episode. Yeah. And uh, I think we have the results from last week's oh, episode, yeah. Dick. Check this out. This is actually two weeks ago. Hate hoaxes. Hate hoaxes. Yeah. What do you think about hate hoaxes, Andy? Yeah, those are our problem. Well, Juicy like Smoothie, remember him? Yeah. yeah. I mean, it's going to be similar. To, as, does, it, does that now carry over to this one? Does oh, what? Does An did uh, Amber Heard do a hate hoax? Well, was that hate? It is a hoax Ooh. of sorts. Yeah, you can't really say you hate women. Oh, like, that's not the same. <laughs> you know? It's not, yeah, it's not it's a not hate, a hate crime. crime. Domestic violence is not a hate crime. I don't know. Is misogyny a hate crime? It's it the, should be. Domestic violence is the only hate crime. Yeah. You know? It's like, God, I fucking hate that you. That one is one that is truly <laughs> fueled by hate. Well, Dick uh, is the winner with hate hoaxes. Then we had uh, criminalizing heterosexuality. That was mine, which was which a good is ironic one. that you are Brought worried that about heterosexuals being criminalized. Why? Is, oh, because I'm a bisexual man. Yeah, yeah. Um, I, I, everyone's always surprised by that, Vito. I don't know Love why. Look, look at me. Part. You think I won't sleep with anything that moves? Come on, I'm desperate. <laughs> uh, suction cups came in third. Quite progressive. Suction cups. Yeah, that's an important yeah. uh, Because they don't problem. work. They don't work. Have you had any dealings with suction cups this week? After Me? that? Anybody. I avoid <laughs> suction cups most of the time. Andy, when's the last Stored time the you had a good suction cup? Uh... Like, uh, when I put like my Garfield on my car, <laughs> did it stick though? Or did it fall off? No, actually, no. It See, didn't, yeah. they never work. They never work. It's bullshit. Yeah. And then it's Cannon true. Cops, which was Vito complaining about, like people Star who complain Wars about and... Star Wars Canon because yeah. the Canon is not bro. It's fine to care about Canon, but you can't complain about every little thing breaking the Canon when it doesn't yeah. break the Canon. Yeah. And we understand this. Okay. Here's... Although that Star Wars show sucks, right, Andy? Oh my God! Yes. It's not good. Yeah. Uh, okay. Here's some comments about last week's uh, veto only show, and then we're gonna get into the problem. That's right. I did a very special call in episode where callers got to present their problems, and Dick has yet to tell me <laughs> whether or not he approved of the concept. Well, Vito texted me on Monday night saying, "Hey, uh, do you think that should be an episode?" And I said, "I don't know. I haven't. I haven't watched it." And you said, "Well, people loved it," and I said, "Okay," and uploaded it. Yeah. And then I went back and read the comments. Here was the comments uh, are really snazzy. Raz yeah. says, "Honestly, I'd rather have Vito fail and learn than him just not try new things on the show." Love the episode. There Keep you go. Up, so that was a positive for JJ me. JJ says, "Surprisingly good episode." All right. And Raven Miller says, "This was so much better than I thought it would be." Wow. <laughs> why are you laughing? That's all good. Well, why did she say it? <laughs> why? Well, because she... everybody's comment in the chat before I did, because Dick was out of town, so I had to do a solo episode, and I said, I'll do a call-in show, and the first 20 minutes in the sh chat was just everyone going, Vito's going to screw this up, and it's going to be a disaster. Vito's an idiot. And then yeah. I pulled it off swimmingly. Yeah. Someone said you almost you put porn on for like a half a second. There was a half a second that someone... Uh, they they did a great all right Andy it was a caller and I could see the callers because it's a stream yard or whatever yeah. and there was a person who just looked like a regular old man I was like oh I can't wait to talk to this individual <laughs> and the second I switched it over it turned to two animated characters having butt relations and I went well that was a good they got me good with that one it's pride month I had one we were doing a self help show my hugging the cactus channel and I was with my female co host and we were like taking calls like all right anybody got a problem and I opened up the Zoom video. And it was a dude helicoptering. <laughs> <laughs> and it was so weird because I was like, I was like just disgusted for my co-host, the female. And I was like, I'm so sorry. But then I was like, wow, what a perfect person to talk to on this self-help show. So that boy, I was like, sir, uh, I'd love to talk to you, actually. Why are you doing this? What, what, why'd you feel the need? And I talked to him long enough that he got like less erect. So it was an actual oh, that guy? Was his dick? He didn't like send a gift? <laughs> it was an yeah, actual no, dude it was his, running it was the helicopter? 
Wow. Oh my God. God. How big Luckily, was his I didn't dick? have it on like live. I had I had it so I could check it first. Yeah. So it wasn't on YouTube, but yeah. my God, it was very funny. So Vito didn't learn that lesson that there could be a guy helicopter. I knew there could there. be, but I was very quick. All right. Now, did I watch it a little bit just to correct the form? I was like, all right, that's pretty good. And then I turned off. Yeah. We got to the callers. A lot of people had a lot of fun. Have you ever tried to helicopter your dick like that? No. Andy, have you? Would you, Vito? Yeah, would, would you? I? Yeah. Could you is the question. Could I could. You want to see who can helicopter their <laughs> no, dick No, I don't more? want to do. I don't. <laughs> not at all. This is not an important contest. What about if there's me? money involved? <laughs> and I don't care. I don't. How I bet much? You do it. Yeah, I don't how much? No, how no. much? Oh, the inertia. What about all the super chats? And the of, swinging. I already don't like the swinging. We'll get a stripper to, to verify who swung their, consec their dick around okay. consecutively. Well, sure. Um, that's why don't we just make that the show then? The biggest helicopter in the universe. That's what that's all a the good fans bonus want. Content. It's a good bonus, bonus content. content. This is bad bonus content. <laughs> Nobody wants this. Andy's a fucking money man. Andy, is that good bonus <laughs> content or what? Yeah, it could. Andy it has could. been pestering me to make a video where I shave my pubes for like a year. Oh my God. Dick, tell me it would not be a good video to watch Vito learning how to shave his pubes. He refuses oh. to shave his pubes. Why would I shave my pubes? My pubes are fine. <sighs> One, natural. it'll make your junk look bigger. Yeah. How does it make Two, you can see it through Anybody the who goes down there will appreciate it. That's a negative. It's a proud, it's a proud <laughs> pillow down there. I'm not oh. touching it. It's a proud, dense Italian forest. <laughs> And uh, it needs no trimming. How about the loser of the helicopter? Do you, penis? Tri do you trim your pubes? Uh, only in uh, only to, in other people's bathrooms. Like oh, if I'm okay. in someone else's bathroom, <laughs> I'll, if they have and they leave their scissors out like a slob, I'll trim my pubes. Oh my god! Just to make a mess, you know. Because Andy, what do you have? Do you have the whole manscaped like production kit or whatever? Well, I, I actually used my uh, my lady has a one of those like uh, razors. Ooh. It's like the waterproof one. You're using your woman's razor to it, sculpt it, it, your it pubes, whole shit, dude. Yeah, but I'm and saying, I does she know? Do you put it back? A little trim. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I got, I got no. It's great. Oh my god! I don't want to be a. I don't want to be a forest down there. My god, Vito. That poor lady has to use but, the, the same the, razor you used for pubes on her Vito face. Vito has never trimmed it once, Dick. You got to try it. Give it a shot. I'm like, wait a minute, you've sucked a cock to see if you like it, but you won't shave your pubes? <laughs> it's not that, Ladies, I, look. Am I, I just, crazy or should uh, Vito try to manscape a little bit? At one point, I like, I think I shaved off all my body hair one time, and that was awful. <laughs> no, that's too much. Yeah, that was too much. <laughs> you could put the little Wario W in your pubes. And then I got, really I got, I got, I got, I broke out in crazy hives when you shave all your hair. Your body's like, yeah, What's we should have warned all the people from Popcorn Planet. This is the After Dark show. This is definitely the oh, After yeah. Dark show. <laughs> Tune out. Sorry, it is 10 o'clock <laughs> here, but it's going to get a little uh, more divided. It's going to be a little this. crispy for you. Okay. Sp you know, somebody should uh, shave Amber Heard's crying face into their pubes. Tell you what, super, that? super chat a, a couple more hundos in there, and uh, maybe we can uh, trim the pubes as a bonus episode. Okay. Andy, would you please start us off and today? Thank you You're to Master guys. Sasamaru, who did give us that super chat for 100, oh, saying, wow. pouch. Pouch. Is that a, is that a common? Is that a well, it's my joke? sponsor. I'll, I'll sponsor oh. here too. So oh, sponsor okay. is Sheath Underwear. You, it's the guys, you need to get a sheath underwear. It's got a dual pouch system. Andy was telling me about the pouch underwear that he it's likes. It's got a it. pouch for your balls, and then it's got a separate little hole for your shaft. What so you the can fuck? actually separate it, and it makes it like way more comfortable, dude. I'm not kidding. See, I, I'm <laughs> wondering if this is good. I'm like almost it's sold. It's good. I, I, I saw when they wanted to sponsor, I looked at it. I'm like, oh, God, this looks all No, this is going to be ridiculous. But it's soft and comfy. But and the guys have different size, you know, nice. peens and balls. How do they? Maybe is it a you. one size right. fit all? Get your pair, Vito. I'm gonna send you. I'm gonna get sheet to send you. A pair. All right, send me a pair. Maybe I'll love it. Huh. Curious what you think. By the way, you I gotta go say, for the checkout to save twenty percent. Andy, it's really incredible to see you rocking these huge streams. Uh, last I th last time you were on my show was like four years ago. Five years ago, and now you're on top of the fucking world. Was it that long ago? It was a long time ago. It was like pre COVID. It was like Andy Dufresne had to crawl through that sewer of shit from Screen Junkies to finally uh, go to Zaywat Neo and yeah. talk about the Tony Depp trial. And now you're so destroying yeah. Screen yeah, Junkies, man. which is hilarious. They can't get traffic for anything. Well, I, and I should say the people watching, both Dick and Vito, were supporters of mine through all that whole craziness. So yes. uh, that's why I, we I appreciate have always the had folks Andy's back. back. And now we are reaping the rewards finally. God, this this long horse bet finally pays off. <laughs> <laughs> All right. 
Start us off, Andy. Andy what is your? Heard, I know that you've been fired up about this Amber Heard stuff. Why don't you? Yeah, lead us off. What is your oh biggest God, problem so the in biggest the universe? Biggest problem in the universe to me, it's not Amber Heard. Mm-hmm. It's the people supporting Amber Heard after mm-hmm. the trial verdict. Amber Heard Amber supporters. Heard supporters are the worst, biggest problem in the universe. Well, what are Why these? Is that? Who are these people who are supporting her? What what type of people are they? Me too, activists, feminists. Yeah. Uh, annoying liberal journalists that are just <laughs> don't care about facts. They want to just continue to stir things up. What's crazy is like Amber Heard's like the cult leader, right? Yeah. I, I, I got. I, I could. I'm going to give her some credit here because I'm supposed to start now, right? Is this how the show works? Yeah. Yeah. Just give us yeah. what you yeah. think. A little bit. Like, you know, the cult leader. I can appreciate some. Like, all right, this woman's a kind of a manical genius, right? In, in leading this cult like at least they got it together and they started the cult but the cult followers to me they're just so dumb they're just like the lemmings of society that i'm just like they have no rhyme or reason to what's right or wrong and they're just allowed to like help be in tr- control of this population we live in no these people are insane and i'm going to debate them throughout this show well uh so st- i mean it People who supported her at first, you almost understand, right? Because yes. they say, you know, a woman comes out and says, I've been abused. You go, okay, well, let me. Dick's going, no, I don't believe women ever. No, never. I go, listen, I'm willing to lend an ear, of course. But then as this whole trial has come out, obviously there was like no evidence in her favor. In fact, the evidence seemed to be against her. Yeah. So you kind of have to fault these people for they're just ignoring it and they have their fingers in their ears, right? Like what? Yeah. What has been the most damning thing that has come out during the trial that you go? How do you still support this woman? Audio uh, tape of her admitting to slicing his finger off, which she denies, and then audio tape after this alleged bottle being shoved, you know, in her area. That I don't want to say get too dis- uh, explicit. Yeah. Oh, I've and done nurses that. and doctors are there. <laughs> okay, and they're not tending to her. You've done that consensually, Dick. Please. Uh, I mean, we were drunk. I yeah, don't know. Can you consent that's... when you're drunk? <laughs> So, all right. Okay, we're gonna get canceled ourselves. Yeah, I saw her uh, her sixty minutes thing, and the best line was, "Well, do you Johnny Depp admitted a lot of the stuff that he did? Do you think you fucked up by not admitting like some of the bad stuff you did?" And she said, "Uh, mm, uh not really." Like, yeah, uh, you still can't. You still can't. You can't admit anything, and none of your followers can admit anything ever. Like that's your whole thing is you can just never admit it. And all of us have to give you. All of us have to give you these little piecemeal consolations and surrenderings forever to get you to participate <laughs> in anything like breadcrumbs. Like okay, well, yeah, you thought you were you thought you were doing something good, didn't you? Like no, they didn't. Like oh yeah, yeah, I did. Like l- you're luring them out like a rat. You know what I mean? Who's she? Like, she's luring them out. All of them. They're all the same. They all look at her and they're like, God, I wish I was her. Yeah. Oh, God, this is the same. It's like looking at my own life. They think that they're an equal victim to Amber Heard. Yeah. They they have suffered through some guy yelling at them or whatever else. Well, that's that. uh, What do you call it? That's kind of been the thing is I think that people look at this and they go, yeah, I got yelled at by a guy once. I'm the ultimate victim. Because we live in this victimhood culture (laughs) where you go... People yell at each other, man. That that's been the thing. Even like big time news commentators, and I've seen them on. on they hit the, each other too. Yeah, a lot of a lot, like a quarter of relationships have, have, some, hit, physicality. have some physicality in them. Right. I was like, oh my god, I can't. I was like, yeah. I mean, go watch an episode of Cops. It's not great. It's not good that it happens. But as long as you know people, you make amends for it, and hopefully you didn't go over the line. You can definitely go over the line. But we don't even have any evidence. What that, what was said that Johnny threw a cell phone at her, you know? Yeah, yeah. Uh, and there's and she goes, yeah. I had a bruise on my face. And you go, you got any pictures of that? And she goes, Yeah, not really. not really. I have one where my skin's a little red, <laughs> and uh, I have a cracked lip. And you're like, all right, well, I don't know. It's not like it's not like Johnny took this woman and threw her down a flight of stairs, you know? Yeah. Uh, so what are the do the do the people who support Amber find you, Andy? And harass yeah, you I, still? Yeah, they're there. But the people who support her are also the mainstream media. Another yeah. group of people that need to be thrown off a cliff. Yeah. That, to watch Samantha Guthrie sit there and not ask tough questions when her own husband works, has done promotion for Johnny Depp's legal team. So she's there pretending to fake like she's not feeling what she is. And she has to sit there and like 
promote this abuser who lost through a jury verdict and uh just be like oh yeah sure she pushed a little bit but man i could throw her off the cliff too because all the mainstream media these activists these fake feminists these people who are labeling us mis- misogynistic <laughs> because we <laughs> no. believe johnny and all the evidence oh, look a lot of people are mad i'm not here because of johnny Johnny's made a lot of shitty movies, okay? I'm sorry, guys. He did. Mm. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Made- Every Johnny Depp movie. movie is perfect, Andy. I have no... Oh, Willy Wonka. God, I'm not here standing Johnny so Depp. So much better than the original. I, I, I trust the man. I think the guy is a good guy. A good guy. I really do. I think he means well. I think he gives a charity. All that stuff. But these people will just label us as Johnny Depp stands, and that's why we're believing him. I don't... Get, that's not why I'm doing it. I'm doing it because this woman's a psycho, and she's a cult leader, and these supporters of her are basically flat earthers. And they, to me, are the biggest problem in this universe because they're dumbing us all down. Yeah, they really are. There's still people that believe that Juicy, that something happened to him. The Black Lives Matter movement thinks Juicy Smule is telling the truth. Yeah, they put out a statement, and you're like, oh, BLM, I wanted to support you so bad. But now you're saying, no, we think Juicy actually got attacked by two guys yeah. in MAGA hats. We live in, a, we live in a fiction. A lot of people or a lot of people choose to live in a fiction yeah. where they refuse to look at like clear and direct facts and because it, it goes against their two guys, narrative. Two guys who broadcast in front of only toys and movies are telling me about living in a fiction. Is that what I'm hearing? Yes, exactly. <laughs> we, me and Andy are the only true people. We surround ourselves in toys to remind us that of the line between fiction and reality. Mm. Andy, what do you think it is about the about the stands and the, the media? Like, what do you think it is that calls to them about Amber's cult? Because it's so it's so specific, and it had like these these celebrities that lie. Um, they seem to be embraced by the same crowd of people, and I don't understand them. I don't know the mentality behind it, but you've been studying it for a lot longer than me, so I don't know. Maybe I just you think do. They're, they're stuck in their own ideologies, right? They refuse to back down from their own you know viewpoints because it it would crush their whole narratives of how they've defined their whole social media existence which is to just shit on guys, believe women and, you know, mainstream media is the way to go. And how did fuck Joe Rogan and, and all internet, you know, guys don't know what you're talking about. Uh, it's like, it's all connected in a, in a crazy way. And what's, yeah. what's beyond it's below, it blows my mind that that community is rallying for Amber Heard uh, because Amber Heard is literally one of the worst people you could probably support. <laughs> it's just, she's so the domestic abuser. If you care about stopping domestic abuse, you don't go, which one of them cut off the other one's finger? <gasps> that That's so the bad. one whose side I'm on. It's Even if they both hit each other, it's like, bitch, you cut off his fucking finger. That's way over the line. Yeah, that's way over the line. a million times worse than anything, Johnny. And these people, they're uh, monetizing off of it. And like they're, they're, they're getting mad at us for monetizing Johnny Depp coverage while monetizing their own hate. I mean, the Washington Post op-ed, how much money did they make off of that? Yes, no that shit. They're coming after YouTubers and our super chats and trying to publicly yeah, shame I don't know us if, all. I don't know if Dick has seen this, but a lot of the mainstream media is going, look at these guys like Nick Ricada and uh, Andy Signori. They made all this money talking about the trial. And I'm like, so they're the news. They're, they're, they're doing <laughs> yeah, exactly, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, exactly. What are you talking about? <laughs> like, they're, they're being the news. You get paid to report on stuff. Yeah. No, but they're lying to you because they made so much money. And you're like, no, I think, like, again, Andy's a guy who was talking about this case way before I even knew what the fuck was going on. I'm like, what happened? Who did what to who? And they're trying to claim that all these guys only jumped on it because they, they don't really care about the facts. They're just in it for the money. And I'm like, no, that's you. That's what you do. The news. Yeah. Like, I think Andy is a guy who genuinely does care about the facts, and that's why everybody's watching his show, because yeah. there's a lot of evidence out there that shows that Amber is fucking nuts. And frankly, I, I'm a guy, I try to be fair, and I go, what did Me Johnny too. do? Well, I want to I want to know if Johnny Especially did Especially when it hurts women. <laughs> <laughs> no, I look at the evidence regardless, and I've said, well, what did Johnny do? Where's the evidence? And there's like nothing. There's some allegations that are bad, yeah. but none of them are nearly as bad as literally cutting a dude's finger off. And there's direct, we can see it. We see his slashed yep. open finger. It's horrifying. You know what annoys me when people say like, oh, well, this is going to have a chilling effect that w- victims Good. aren't going to come. I'm like, <laughs> you, think a wa- you think a woman being wrong is going to shut them up? Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Disavow. 
Does a vow? Yeah, we, as a, we respect as a misogynist, women. it really that really uh, annoys me. Yeah, that like right. oh, they're they're all misogynist too. I've suffered for my craft, okay? <laughs> I've suffered for my misogyny for years. These guys just don't get to claim it all of a sudden because of one court case. We believe women here on the show. We just don't believe you as much as maybe some of you want to be believed. Yeah, uh, it's not it's not because here's the thing. Believe women was always supposed to be like. Listen to like give them a chance to tell you what happened instead of just instantly dismissing them. Somehow it got turned into women have never lied. <laughs> and you go, that's we know that's not true. Everyone lies, regardless yeah. of gender. <clears throat> and I don't know why some of these activists can't wrap their head around this. And they go, No, Amber's incapable of lying. She's a woman. What do you think's next for the Amber Heard fans? What what lie do you think they're gonna jump on next, Andy? How can oh. they keep justifying uh, what she's done? Yeah, it's interesting. I, I think I don't know. I think some of them are starting to wise up. But uh, do you yeah, think? This, do you think this interview tonight will change any minds? Did she slip I mean, I up in they any can way? Change. I think they're just. They may not be as vocal as they used to be. Mm, but man. I don't think they can change. It's just like I can't admit I'm wrong. Just like Amber can't admit she's wrong. But again, I feel it's like so annoying. It really is. So, somebody just can't tell you that they fucked you over. It's like it sits in you forever. Yeah, but, but but Dick, it's like with Amber, I can just sign her off. I'd be like, all right, get it. This is a complete narcissist, psychopath. Like, all right, yeah. whatever. We've all deduced that. But to see all so many people branching off from her to lift her up, given all the evidence, and still be like. No, we. I, she is a queen, and what a brave woman to fight the misogyny of and and the conservatives and blah blah blah. It's like uh, it, that to me is even more frustrating. And Andy, I think you're like me too, where like we still, even though we shouldn't, have this weird instinctual like I feel kind of bad for Amber Heard, and I don't know why. I just want her to stop. Because <laughs> you've never dated someone like her. That's why. <laughs> I don't feel bad at all. <laughs> I just, but I'm like, I'm like, look, she has a kid. I don't want her to, you know, live in the gutter or whatever. I feel bad whatever. for the kid. Well, yeah, I feel bad for the kid. And I don't know. I just wish she could. That's the thing is people think we're like horrible misogynists. We don't care about women. Like, even now, I'm like, I wish Amber Heard would just shut up. Uh, walk some of this stuff back. You're putting that pussy work on out, a pedestal. Work That's out a problem. payment plan. I don't want her to die in a gutter, all right? I want her to take care of her kid, have a roof over her head. She deserves basic human dignity. <laughs> Uh, maybe I am. Maybe I am being too. All right. All right. You think I'm sucking up too much? Shut no, up. she's. She, she, <laughs> fuck she always has a place to stay. <laughs> hey, I've said. I've said. I'd ride the roller coaster. If Amber Heard uh, needs a shoulder to cry on, yeah, I'm. Uh, I'm right here, baby. Okay. So biggest problem in the universe. I gotta say, I kind of agree. Cause you kind of agree. Because their people are so like the, of all the problems, they're the biggest one. Well, it, it's the hell that we live in is defined by the judgment of our peers. Yeah, and unfortunately, just all these people are here who can never admit that they're wrong. There's a lot who of that. go who will believe anything that satisfies some kind of a narrative that they that they're predisposed to want to believe. Yeah, you know, that like this this poor woman, and it's be and honestly, it's because she's pretty. Like if she was some slob. If she was like, or, yeah. I'm either a man or an ugly woman, they wouldn't care. It's just they want to be her so badly. Like it's this very sick narcissistic projection that half of our half of our country is addicted to. It is true that a lot of the Me Too stuff. If you're an unattractive individual, it seems to hit you harder. Oh yeah. Did you uh, my DMs, Vito. By the way, at some point. Did I what now? Read my DMs too. At some point. Oh, I'll check your straight. DMs. Yes. Okay. Give me um, advice. Who? Do you want to go next, Vito, or do you want me to go next? I can probably go. Oh, uh, also, Dick, read this. Well, I go next. My biggest oh, okay. problem in the universe, Dick, is journalist hall monitors. Okay. Now, these, Andy, I think you've met some of these people. These are okay. people who, journalism is supposed to be an important profession, right? Yeah. Where, you know, you, you report on misdeeds and, you know, you muckrake, you uncover great, you know, horrible things that are happening against the populace. Try to make the world a better place, right? That's that's the role of a journalist. To sell ads, you mean? Well, that's a big part of it, too. These are journalists who think the best way to help society is to hang out on, like, Twitter and Telegram and Facebook and wait for somebody to say something that's, like, a little not politically correct and go, We got him, folks! Lock it down! One of these people, 
who Andy may be familiar with, is the great Taylor R- Lorenz. Have you heard of Taylor Lorenz, Andy? Yeah, I mean, she's part of uh, my people, the worst people in the universe. Wes, well. Supports Amber. Taylor oh God, she does. is a yeah. uh, famous one of these tattletale journalists, these hall monitors, who, uh, here, here's one of her many misdeeds. There was a club, you know, Clubhouse, that uh, app, the audio only app where you yeah. have roundtable discussions. Yeah, yeah. There, is a, she, there was a roundtable discussion about uh, the GameStop stock uh, kerfuffle that was going on. Oh, yeah. And she tweeted out, did you know that during this Clubhouse uh, meetup, Silicon <laughs> Valley investor Mark Anderson used the R slur? R slur meaning... You know, uh, <laughs> person of feeble Fraggle? mental uh, abilities. Oh, yeah, okay. Yes. Yeah. The problem being that... The arsler, you mean the, what, at, the at the end? You can't, no, <laughs> arsler, like... Yeah, yeah, the, yeah. You yeah. know where I'm going with the spaz. Men- mentally cha- like mentally challenged. Mentally challenged, yes. Right. So is hanging out in the Clubhouse app just waiting for one of these investors to use a bad word? Yeah. Let's be clear. First of all, this was this was a quote that they were reading from Reddit, where the people buying GameStop stock were referring to themselves using the R slur, saying basically, "We're so stupid that uh, uh, Wall Street can't win." It was their word. You're saying, yeah, they're saying yeah. we can stay. They can't stay solvent as long as we can st- say, stay stay mentally retarded. handicapped. Yeah. Yes. The problem was that the guy she accused of saying it wasn't even the guy who said it. It was like a different rando because anyone could be in the Clubhouse app. And this verified reporter is going on Twitter and going, well, actually, they used ableist language. And, and like, is this what you're supposed to do as a journalist? Is just find people who are using bad words and that's all you got? Uh, yeah. They keep doing that. They did that to PewDiePie. Okay. Yeah, it's um, it's a very sick kind of clout chase. They're just isn't sitting it? around waiting for you to like slip. It's like, okay, I can understand that it's bad if it's like a pattern of behavior for somebody to be using slurs. Yeah. But they'll be digging into like ten year old news stories or like tweets. Yeah. There was like some kid who just got a football scholarship or something, or I think he got signed to a major team, and they go, "Well, did you know ten years ago he used the f slur on Twitter?" You know, how old was he? And they're like fourteen. Yo, you're telling me when it was 14? What are you doing? What Guys, is this whole monitor behavior? We all behavior? use it every day. What are you- <laughs> I mean, <laughs> we some all of these words are getting it. tossed around. <laughs> in, it's locker room talk. It's not fodder for journalistic discussion. Uh, now, most recently... It's the scalping. Like, it's their their need to uh, scalp. Call the ranks. To be the ultimate liberal. To be better than any other. Yeah, and then getting all the clicks based on that. Get all the clicks by being a shining example. Well, we saw this this week, and this was, this was crazy. Did you guys see what happened with the Washington Post this week? No. Okay. So there was a there's a uh, Washington Post writer named David Weigel who retweeted a joke. Oh, yeah. I he did, did not tweet the joke. He did not write the joke himself. He saw a funny joke on Twitter, and he yeah. hit the retweet button. I'm going to give you the joke, and you guys let me know if this shocks you to your core. This was a joke written by Cam Harlow. She says, every girl is bi. You just have to figure out if it's polar or sexual. Is she bipolar or bisexual? It's okay. not funny because they're the it's same. It's a groaner. They're, they're the same? Yeah, the bipolar <laughs> girls are the bisexuals. It's not All right, well, I don't know about funny. that necessarily. Well, I do. Okay, look, maybe it's a groaner of a they're joke. There, there's a lot of them. Okay, everybody's got problems regardless. Mm-hmm. Wasn't the worst thing in the world. A journalist retweets a joke. Well, this Felicia Sanmez, again, a journalist at the Washington Post, she tweets out horrified. She goes, I am so glad I work at a news outlet <laughs> where retweets like this are allowed. Allowed? Allowed to retweet a Washington Post writer. So not only did she get her fellow Washington Post writer suspended for a month without pay oh, for a, for a horrible retweet joke. That sounds a little bisexual, if I'm honest. It sounds a little uh, bipolar. It's sexist that only the man was punished in this situation. Well, actually, she did finally, the Washington Post had to step in because she wouldn't shut up about it for the next week. 
<laughs> for a week. It never shuts up. I don't know if you guys saw. It was crazy on Twitter. Like all these news outlets were like, "What is going on at the Washington Post?" Because they were all just going, "The Washington Post is a beacon of toxicity and violence because they allowed this Jesus joke." Jesus Christ! Like, they canceled just a joke. the guy, and then one other uh, one other Washington person, Post person said, "Well, hey, let's not disparage our paper. You know, it's a very proud place to work." And they went, "You're contributing to it." And then another Washington Post writer. This was the best. It was Felicia Sanmez again? The person who initially complained. She yeah. went on like a 12 tweet rant just being like the toxicity levels at our paper are, are through the roof and people of different whatevers are marginalized blah 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 and finally another Washington Post lady just went please stop <laughs> <laughs> and it had it had like hundreds of thousands of retreats because they're like, what are you doing? Until finally the Washington Post has stepped up and fired Felicia Sonmez. Oh, really? Yes. They said, <laughs> what is wrong with you? All you did for a week was tweet about how our paper is awful it's and toxic, hates the marginalized yeah. and is toxic. <laughs> like, how is this good? for? How does this help us? Can you imagine having a job at Taco Bell and every day before you get to Taco Bell, you stand outside with a sign for an hour and go, Taco Bell kills puppies? And you go, well, I'm yeah. just trying to make it a better workplace man i'm just trying to elevate you know, above the margin in the save the marginalized or whatever else what is this behavior that is in their head that they go i have to tattle on everyone it's attention including my closest colleagues and people i'm forced to work with every day they're nuts they need attention yes like, attention is the only currency that they trade in to the um, point where they will eat their colleagues and try to get their own people fired. Yeah. You're like, don't you want, shouldn't your paper, shouldn't you go, the Washington Post is a great place to work and everybody, you know, you want people to read your stuff and respect your newspaper as opposed to, the place I work is shit and it's full of bigots. Uh, uh, thanks for coming by. Terrible marketing did, did strategy. A bunch of guys, do a bunch of guys now think well, that like, uh, oh, yeah. Do a bunch of guys think that women are uh, not bipolar now after this was done? Well, I don't know. Yeah. We haven't heard from David Weigel because, again, he's been suspended for a month without pay, has apologized for retweeting a joke on the internet. Oh, my God. You the can apologize for retweeting it. That's fine. I'll give him that. Yeah, I'm but like, okay. what's he even to apologize for? He even said, he's like, you know what? I didn't it's even not think a very funny. It's not a very funny joke. It's a shitty if you're, joke. If you're a woman that works there and you see that, it's kind of like... Uh, that's a that makes me uncomfortable. Like the 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 weird sexualness of it makes me uncomfortable, and the casualness. Okay, which, but you know all those which, jokes which that you shared? always see. That's like men will literally do this instead of going to therapy, making yeah. fun of the mental conditions of men. Yeah, they retweet that all the time. Now it's the sexual. It's the sexualness of it though. That's, Why it makes me bisexual? uncomfortable. Oh, well, does it infer that bisexuality is bad? Uh, it just brings someone. Bisexuality it's totally is totally inappropriate. It's totally un inappropriate to bring. Somebody's sexuality in at work. I I think to me. I'm is sensitive that a, is, to is, that. Is Twitter your is Twitter I'm your I'm work dick right now? Hmm? You're impressed dick, with Dick. You, you agree with Dick? Yeah. No, nah, because I hate like I'm. I've seen a lot of business settings where guys like they start doing that elbow shit. They'll see each other from like across. Like across the street, like okay. you know, the guy and they'll start elbowing already, and they're like, "Here we go, we're gonna meet and do like a big inappropriate elbow thing and start making everybody uncomfortable." And you can feel like women what do you mean go like elbow thing, like like ribbing, each like, like nudging, like oh yeah, and you know, have you ever seen like you heard an, this an ass slur? on a woman? Yeah, okay. Oh man, that a that ass gets right up, right but up. Twitter on the isn't butt. the workplace. Twitter's like a whole whatever. It's like a it's a throwaway. It, it literally is just this the wild west of you just throw shit up and you offend a bunch of people and then you apologize You're for talking it and about move like on. a reporter. There's no reason for him to be <laughs> doing this. Well, maybe reporters shouldn't be on Twitter. Maybe that's the big problem, really. Yeah. But I, I do think that, uh, I don't think that. Well, that's, you know what? That, that is offended. kind of the problem that I was like almost getting at is maybe you're right. Maybe all these reporters are just acting. It's 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 reporters acting like children on the internet. Yeah, but you, you know, go, you're supposed to be like, and you're right. Maybe that does include retweeting jokes. The new media does this too, where like every time a Star Wars comes out, yeah, they'll go like, "Oh, can you believe that this is there's a black elf or something in this?" And they'll start freaking out <laughs> yeah. about every little thing. It's just like it's just too much media. It's too much journalism because there's not that many things that happen, so they have to make nonsense out of so many other like how many how many things will happen every year that are worth it's worth covering well the amber heard trial of yeah. course amber heard. I'm, still, I'm still confused what Vito is fighting for i'm fighting for journalists should act should should report on real stories instead of this little nitpicky. that's not what you called at the beginning you've shifted like four times i said <laughs> <thing is confusing. laughs> 
Your thing makes no sense. Just yeah. log off Twitter and your problem is solved. It's yeah. journalists, so hall monitors. It's journalists feeling like they need to police our language and our speech yeah. and that it's worth reporting on and raising a big fuss over when there's like so many other issues that we could be talking about that have actual bearing on the world. Like the election fraud? Like, no, not. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> there's no election fraud. God damn it, we're going to get demonetized again if you keep what? doing that. <laughs> <laughs> you not you <laughs> you the election in Russia. The election, yes, all the Russian election. election you, should yes. picked, you should have picked Putin. Pixar. That would have been a better one. Pixar is the biggest problem in the universe. Yeah, I can. I I could argue that for an hour. My well, God, I, I, I have heard about Lightyear. I haven't seen Lightyear, but you did tell me that it's this baby. My God, switch. Lightyear chose to focus on the gay kiss instead of sending Buzz Lightyear to space. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what? He's a galactic ranger to infinity and beyond. Yeah. And, and instead, he just stays on a barren planet all day, and he's got to protect oh, the black no. lesbian. Oh. And they and because of that, they can't have aliens in the movie because Disney's so progressive. We gotta have a gay kiss for ten seconds for a tenth they have of a, a ten second. They actually gay have kiss. a space adventure. Well, how long do you want, if the gay kiss was longer than ten seconds, it would be uh, gratuitous. You know, it was like They'd a, be moved in together. Minor, no big deal kiss. It was insane. Zeno, I'm going to list a hundred problems more than your dumb I thing. Have, well, I always yeah, bring yeah, in your problems. I, I, shut the f My problem is great. Everyone knows who's listening your knows what I'm talking about. It's just so overdone. It's like, oh, yeah. I know it's overdone, so but I didn't want to go another. Everybody always gets true. mad if I bring in nerd problems. So, what well, there's am I other do? things in life. No, there isn't. There's just food, <laughs> using the uh, toilet, and nerd <laughs> stuff, <laughs> which are my three category of problem. I mean, what and you, complaining about the culture. Right, I brought a lot of my audience over, and I think, I think they just wanted to hear me talk and yell. So I just fair just enough. Had to take the, okay, I got. Go. Let me do. All my right, well, that was my problem. Vito's is, problem uh, sucks. Journalist hall monitors, great problem, and the audience will vote it down. Vote at biggestproblem.show. Yeah, and vote it down. You can vote down Hold if you up. hated I'm my problem. I'm offended by David Corona saying I'm using just for men beard coloring. I do not <laughs> color my beard. This is purple gray coming in. My God. You're not doing a very you're good not job coloring, coloring it at all. It if you're yeah, not, no, if you're coloring I don't color it. it, I'm letting it go. I don't believe you. You got to be coloring a little something. Okay. You think I have the time or energy to color <laughs> my beard? You got time. You got more time and energy than anyone on this fucking planet, Andy. You like every, you're beard? streaming every day. You're going on wild vacations with the family. Uh, <laughs> I got you. Got every. You got all this energy. You got more energy than me. I love your shirt. Johnny Depp is innocent. Big block letters. No styling at all. Yeah, that's how you <laughs> communicate a message. Dude, we oh, saw a lot of them. that looks like my kitty. Hi. What's your cat's name? Cookie. Do you? Is there naming rights for the cat on Super Chats? Yeah. How much to name Every, the cat? I mean, I mean, I'm sure if you gave me a thousand dollars, I'd change the name of my cat. <laughs> <laughs> you can't do that. You know what? If you give us a hundred bucks, we'll call the cat something else on Aww, this show. And look at that! How come your cat's never on the stream? Well, she usually bites me, but no one's home. They all. They, I'm here alone this week. Now she's they, desperate they, for love. Yeah, she just wants food. Oh, she only loves me when she wants food. Sorry, go ahead. No, you have such a pretty kitty. Okay, you're Dick, here. What is the biggest problem in the universe? You're here alone. You're at your home alone all week. Yeah, right, Andy. Mm -hmm. He is. That's, okay, I'm assuming the woman is out then. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, then you're not going to. This is the one week of your life where you're not going to encounter this problem. Is someone throwing your perfectly good shit away? Yeah. Someone. Oh. <laughs> yeah. I can relate. <laughs> I why? My, what happened to you, Dick? I give my girlfriend to yeah. help me ship some t shirts for my store. Sure. Right? And I get them all packaged up, I get the postage on, we put them in garbage bags to take them to the post oh, office. Oh, no. And drop right, and we spent all like an hour or two packaging shirts, right? Yeah. Okay. Very. I'm explaining this process to her, like, okay, and, and you know, there's the hint of, don't fuck if you fuck this up, it's gonna, you know, yeah, you're never gonna hear the end of it. All right. So we get them all in the bags, we take them to the post office, and then we drop them off, and she takes the garbage bags and throws them in the trash. He said, those were perfectly good. Those were perfectly good garbage those bags. Are three. Perfectly good garbage bags that you just threw. Well, Dick, but they touch T-shirts <laughs> right so into now the trash. Says, well, they were all stretched out. Said, they were not stretched out at all. <laughs> yeah. They were perfectly fine. There was no reason to throw. The you know how expensive garbage bags are, right? There's no reason to get rid of it. I don't. 
but well, this has been free. Yeah, but this has been a common thing, of course, is that you always hear from people that their their mom threw what out all their great stuff for no reason. What happened to the uh, carton of lettuce that was in here yesterday? That I know yeah. had another. Well, the best of date said it was. Oh, yesterday, the best so. buy. I says best buy, not you know best best. I'll so take second, slightly best. less than best the day after. I'll take stretched out. The last place I want to be is. Needing a garbage bag and not having any garbage bags. Do you understand? <laughs> yeah. Not a stretched out garbage bag, but absolutely no garbage bags. I think Cookie agrees with us. Is that Cookie was the name of the cat? Yeah. That's a beautiful cat. I got some stats for you. 30 to 40% of the food supply is thrown away. You think women are doing that? Oh, no, just well, anyone's could be doing it. <laughs> I guess I shouldn't assume that we're blaming women for our problems on this show, but it just seems like... Half Who's doing the, the shopping? <laughs> Who's doing the shopping? <laughs> but Who's it is buying the food? food it needs waste. to have the food look perfect. Food waste is a big Not problem. Me. Yeah. Uh, it is interesting that we even have a hunger problem because so much food is thrown out every 10% year. 10% of the food supply is thrown out by my girlfriend, personally. Yeah, your girlfriend you know is doing it, specifically. Uh, the average American throws away 65 pounds of clothes. Every year. You know what? How about I have that? a bunch of clothes that I need to donate, and they've just been sitting around, and I'm going, why don't I just throw them out? You know? Like, who would know? How would anyone find she out? She threw away clothes. She threw away clothes. Yeah. See, but I feel guilty when I throw stuff away, because I go, someone could have used that. Yeah. You should feel guilt. Yeah. But they don't. The people throwing these clothes away, which are, which could be anybody. Yeah. Not me. Not you. Not you. My girlfriend. Andy, do you ever throw out clothes? Throw in the no. trash. Clothes. I don't. Do you ever donate things? Do you ever take stuff to the Goodwill? Yeah. I, I mean, I'll donate things. Uh, I haven't I, you know done what that I in now? a long time. We have a smash room. Do you guys have that by you? A smash yeah, room. Yeah, we do. I start collecting things for the when I'm going to go back to the smash room with my kids, and then you gear up, and then you get to get baseball bats and axes and s- smash all your stuff. That's my new favorite thing what to do. What the heck? I've not heard of this. <laughs> Where do they have this? Downtown. And what, you just bring your stuff and they let you break it yeah, for you fun? Can, you can buy yeah. stuff to break there, or you can bring your own stuff to smash. Do they I look gotta, over <laughs> your stuff to make sure? How strict so are they about what up. you can break? What do you mean? Whatever you want. You could bring like a, a bag with a person in it. Yeah. Just throw it in. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, can you bring a corpse? You got uh, you have a corpse in the, uh, what do you call it, in the garage. You have the dead oh, body. Yeah. Of a All I know is you guys really suck at your own show, and I feel like I destroyed both of you. Like, no, what are you no, talking no, no. about? This these are both is, good problems. These are very good problems. When's I mean, the last I, time I, didn't think of, I, I thought it would be? You know, I'd win, but I, my God, it was just because you got topical and had the the hot button issue. Yeah, bring in All Amber right. Heard fans a year from now. Yeah, do yeah. I'm bring saying, in, wow, what is this? What is this guy going at? You know what? I will take up your challenge, Dick. <laughs> we try to I give like, we try to give the me? guest a give me, and we're June like, yeah, you can. Two thousand twenty three. Invite me back to this show, and I will absolutely do it again. Next time we do this show, I'm gonna hear what your problem is, and then I'm gonna go first. And I'm gonna steal it, and then you're gonna have to figure out what to do on the fly. <laughs> All right, we gave you a gimme with the Amber Heard stuff, you idiot. Take the take the gift. Six hundred thousand perfectly good 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 aborted fetuses are thrown away. <laughs> okay, well that's no. No, that's not how that works. That's perfectly good. Uh. <laughs> Andy Vito called me. He's like, "Oh, hey, call me." Uh, Andy's coming on, and you know his audience is like, uh, they're they're following Amber Heard. They're pro- you know maybe they're a little the less. Get ready. We're doing a show. <laughs> yeah. tone, tone, tone it down a little. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't worry, I'll tone it down a little bit. <laughs> I'd say tone it down. I just said they might have different tastes in comedy. I love watching Vito get nervous. Oh, my God. I'm going to get banned from YouTube forever. Why? How are you going to get banned? I don't know. You're going to do something, and it's going to get us all banned. I don't know what it is, but it'll happen at some point. Um, I'm, do you see that guy that docks all the YouTube uh, people or just said oh, that the or act, something? Oh, the act man? Yeah, the act. Have you been covering that at all, Andy? The act man? I've heard about it through Vito's chats and stuff. I haven't actually gotten deep into it, but it seems like there's more to it. The act man is a guy who uh, was rightfully upset with another YouTuber and then... They were like, well, we can't do anything about it. And he was like, oh, well, then I guess it's okay for me to dox YouTube employees. (laughs) 
as like a sick joke. Yeah, that's and funny. You're like, yeah, YouTube's gonna love hearing that joke. So they 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 banned his monetization. It's like, yeah. oh, see, they banned me because I'm talking shit about this other YouTuber. They go, no, we banned you because you said you're gonna dox our employees. Jokey, like you fucking moron. Yeah. So, not a smart guy. Um, so, dude, for- Vito, you could have picked Ezra Miller uh, as well. Well, I thought about bringing in Ezra Miller. I just there didn't know go. what would I say. Dirty, dirty hippies who kidnap children. And he's also think what he's doing to the trans community with by overusing the pronouns and making it hate crimes. Well, we had our entire he's Pride Month special. We've covered a lot of gay problems already. This you know week. what? I I've come around. I love Pride Month now. Pride Month is great. It pisses off all the right people. Well, oh, the man. I learned. I learned about Pride, the amazing thing I learned about Pride Month uh, is the fact that Target will like put their rainbow stuff all over, and they'll uh, you know profit off of Pride Month. And then the higher ups target will go pay for anti gay things. Wait, do they yeah. actually like, like yeah, so executives? That's Pride hilarious. Department <laughs> stores and like the pride section of the target, and people don't even realize uh, connect the fact that Target is, of course, going to end up supporting anti gay initiatives. Have too. you been yeah. to Target oh, during Pride for- Month, Dick? I never go to Target. I refuse. I, the best thing is you go to the pet uh, area, and they're like, "Our do wouldn't your dog love you know the fucking a, a rainbow flag handkerchief? They have uh, a rainbow cat tunnel for my gay cat to run through. You know, uh, I like it because it's like like Juneteenth is now like Fourth uh, of July. Yeah, but for there's, liberals, there's the pride section. Wait, I can't. It's all blurry. What is it? Cause yeah, cause your connection sucks. Oh, so whatever. Just like, describe it to me. Can I, can I text it to you, Vito? I can't show fake pictures. Just on tell show. me what it is. <laughs> you use words. It's, it's a Demi podcast, Lovato Andy. Records. People are gonna listen to this in audio format. Oh, shit. Demi Lovato Records. Uh, That's has, being sold as the Big Pride Month uh, item to pick up. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Uh, Pride is power pillows. Well, Pride What's is a power, power pillow. Here's, Queers. No, it says Pride is Power on the pillow. Here's queer mug, and then there's a queer magic candle, and then ah. there's a bye bye binary book for babies. <laughs> bye bye binary. Beyond the binary binary, and a bunch of uh, yeah, bi- like yeah. I saw a shirt that just had a bunch of pronouns all over it, and I'm like, what? It, who, what? What do you get out of wearing that shirt? Just that pronouns funny. exist. Yeah, pronouns. Pronouns. Like I'm celebrating pronouns. Words. Like what is even happening? Yeah. Uh, I hate that, and I man, I, they started using you know that flag with the yellow and the in the purple circle, which was like a joke. Yeah, the intersex flag. Yeah, I think they got tricked into using it they seriously. Using it. Yeah, I saw I saw a pride flag that was like a ludicrous speed, like it was all zooming in. Oh, it was all like it was all the colors <laughs> zooming in. Yeah, I thought, well, that's got to be it. Like that's the that's at what the point one is there enough stuff on that flag? Yeah. Can we design a new pride flag and like make it really popular? Um, I guess. What What do you, you want to design? But if they like it, there's got to yeah. be. I just think there's got to be a better design out there. That somewhere. pointy one is so shitty. It's so bad. And I'm like, there's a lot. Like, you can do the rainbows are fun. I love rainbows. You can do something with it a rainbow. It. Now they're dated. I don't know what we do. Did I just you see that. Um, I'm more as a graphic designer. I love I love pride and celebrating uh-huh. it and everything else. I just hate that flag yeah. with the triangle. Uh, they're throwing away something perfectly good. They threw away right? a perfectly good pride, pride flag. flag design that had endured for how long was that rainbow flag around? Like thirty years or something. When did it become? And gay? then one day they go, "Well, how come there's no black people on it?" You go, "Well, no, they're on it. It's just it's the gay black. People. I, they're like, we're the brown people." And you're like, "It's not. It's not no, a no, race no, no. thing." Yeah. yeah. Is that really? Was that that was really an issue? Yeah, that's why it has black that's and brown black triangles on it, on it now. They put uh, black people uh, on. What did you think the black and the brown was for? Andy? I don't even know. What, wait, sorry. The new pride flag has triangles on it. You yeah, haven't it, seen the, the what? Shut the fuck up. You've seen it. It's got it's like, like a it's like, Oh, I see it. Oh my god. No, I have. That's the first I've ever seen it. What are you talking about? It's all over that Target stuff. You you were in the Target. No, it was not, dude. I've been to the Target and they have the black and brown they triangle added black on and everything. Brown lines and now there's a blue. Tri- oh my god. They added what a triangle to the side. Yeah, with uh, so trans. Bizarre redesigns the LBGD rainbow flag to be more inclusive. Oh my god! Now the rainbow is not inclusive. No, enough? it's not. There's not enough colors in a rainbow, which has every color in it. 
Ah! Who's purple? I'm confused. Purple is the intersection. Pedophile. Oh. No, no, not pedophile. <laughs> I thought they were on it. No, they're not on Wait, it. You're telling me the colors in the pride flag actually represented certain things? Well, if the, if the rainbow represents everyone, then yes, the original are pride on it. flag, each stripe represented like an emotion or something, or like, you know, it represented an idea. Regret. No, not regret. That's not on the pride flag. <laughs> straight Christ. regret is it's on the pride flag. Straight regret is on there because yes, they're is. missing out on all the fun. Yes. They're not missing out on all the fun. And is then blue sadness. <laughs> no, blue is not sadness. Sadness is not part of the pride flag. That's not, oh, that's, that's inside out. Okay, that's separate. Uh, yes, that's the inside out. What colors. color is prep? But then somebody said, how come there's no black or brown people on the pride flag? Oh no one God. said that. No one that's said that. That's literally why they changed it, though. Black people are gay as shit. How come they're not on yeah. there? No one said and that. And they're like, well, how come the white people aren't on I, there? And they're like, because we don't need we, 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 They're a part of every. It's so complicated. I had no idea. This is in. This is. I have so no idea weird. how you haven't seen this. It's literally like on all the stuff they've got. I live in the old. View. I live in Florida. Yeah, I guess you guys are a, <laughs> a whole different thing. It hasn't hit us yet. I'm looking at no. Oh, okay. There is a circle with more colors. Yeah. Well, there's like so many different variations. Wow, Florida. Be right. DeSantis. Throwing away perfectly hero. good stuff. Well, if you'd listen to the Colin episode, someone's girlfriend was trying to throw out a perfectly good chair. There you go. Yeah, and they, I all they want to do, all they want to do, people. Yeah, some people. Well, this girl, is go through your house, take your take shit, perfectly good throw stuff. it away, get new stuff. Yeah. That's it. Like every eight months, they just want to go on a tour in your house. They're oh, this well, this piano is kind of old. Let's throw it away. It was a female oh, caller, and her problem was male hoarders. And she it's not said, hoarding. "I've been called that. a fucking hoarder <laughs> and by everyone I've ever dated." Oh, oh, you're like a hoarder, bitch! Don't fucking don't you stigmatize my frugal my frugality you with your bullshit? Stuff. You got all sorts of stuff though. It's shouldn't, a normal shouldn't stuff. Shouldn't you in a throw house. out some of your stuff for no reason? And then they praise you for it too. Like if you, if no. I throw out a shirt, I will get oh, you're such a good boy. Like oh, look at you, yeah, you're you clearing out. Boy nuggets. Look at you now. I can use this drawer. You're just like growing up into such. Such a adult man. Yeah. Look at you throwing this stuff away. Andy, does your girlfriend ever try to make you throw stuff out? Oh my god, yes. And I'm st talking about hoarders. Look at all the toys. I'm a hoarder because I get to collect toys. Yeah, and it's all good no, stuff. On a shelf. It's all in. Yeah, it's all organized. It's and on a shelf. It's, worth it's money. not hoarding. Yeah, exactly. Anyway. I'm I'm hoarding because my stuff is scattered all around my apartment like a fire hazard. That's my problem. Throwing perfectly throwing good away stuff away. Perfectly good stuff. My problem was journalist hall monitors. Andy, your problem was. Amber heard supporters. Believers, <laughs> supporters. Down to call Those it. are our problems. And the best thing you can do is after the show, don't forget to check out Biggest Problem That Show and vote on the problems. You can vote them up if you like them, vote them down if you don't like them, and let us know what is truly the biggest problem in the universe. Okay, we got oh, voice. Here's the link. Biggestproblem.show, Andy. Okay, got it. Make sure you guys all go there and actually do this. Thank you. The problems will be up after the show, but bookmark that. And another great link to bookmark is our Patreon at patreon.com slash biggest problem, where we actually have our monthly bonus episode up, the biggest problem in the universe, Pride, Pride Edition. Gay, with gay people. Is it okay if I call it the gayest problem in the universe? I'm not gay. You can't. I have no. But, but the problems are gay-related problems. Is gay. Yeah, well, I'm bisexual. Wow. Well. That's yeah, it's basically not really. It's like gay plus. <laughs> All, All right. right. Well, we're gonna play some How voice. How many moves. boys have you been with versus girls in your life? Uh, at this point, it's like an even split. Oh, okay, then yeah, I think it counts. Really? Yeah, yeah. I've been a little lot of. It was like one or two, and they thing. had like dozens of the other. I'd say eh. it's a whole thing. Guys yeah, are wild, it's man. They want to go nuts, man. There's like so many of them. Wow. So you and like they're to, very cool with not being. Going do you go on the guy, or you let the guy go on like you? I'm like, not doing any butt. Wait, any, what is that? No butt what do you mean, Andy? If you're worried you about that, mouth, does your mouth go on dudes occasionally on their assholes like, more often, or like equal, like joint same time? I'd say I'd say less often. I'm typically the uh, the the top. Oh, in the, in the situation. Oh, you're in so demand. You do it more than you do it to the dudes is what I'm getting. At. Yes, yes. Wow. Yeah, maybe I take it back. Then he's not. He what kind of? What kind of guy do you like? It's a complicated. Well, like, like I've it's explained, not complicated. I can easily tell you what kind of girl I, I, I like. A very well, but the problem is that I like like feminine guys. You know, what's like, like a celebrity like guy? Like you visualize celebrity guy. Yeah, yeah. 
How come you can never answer these questions? You're supposed to be proud of this stuff. It's Pride Month. Who's your cele- male celebrity? Because I don't celebrity look at any question, celebrities. Because you know? I mostly look at... Can this be the bonus show? Can we have a bonus show where we prod Vito on his gay uh, likes and I don't know. Phrasing. I also don't know. Like, cele- like I don't get. I don't think I can do this easily. Amanda Zeefried. No, but that's Boom. the thing is, I don't. He's hot. Oh, yeah. bam! I would go like Chloe. You ever oh. watch Chloe, Dick? Oh no! What was that? Chloe. It's a movie she where topless? she makes out with a Jul- Julianne Moore. Uh, <laughs> she ends up screwing. Uh, she screws Liam Neeson, and then hmm. she has to go screw his whole family: his son, his his wife. Wow. Uh, yeah, you gotta I go gotta watch see it. that. You'll enjoy that one. Uh, that girl from the blonde with the that has messed up eyes from uh, Euphoria, her also okay. no, no problem. No, not Zendaya. Um, what is her name? My girlfriend would know her name. S- something. She's got the wait. She's from what? Euphoria. Oh. She's got I the don't big old cans. Show. Isn't it Zendaya that's on that show though? Right. Yeah, but there's a girl with more messed up eyes. I don't know. Uh, I anyway, you know, is, I don't, Timothy, I don't know any. Is Timothy Chalamet your your type of guy? What, which one was he? He looks like he's what? in Dune. Oh yeah, Chalamet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tom Holland. I was gonna actually say Tom Holland would be a good, you know, Spider Man. So like, but I'd, like have to dress, I'd have to dress him up. A Spider Man? No, so not like a, a Spider Man. You know? Yeah, right. He needs to grow his hair out. Let's be clear. Uh, how much? Like a woman? Yeah, like a lady. Okay. Would you go like, oh shoot, you're wet? Would you be Mary Jane, or you be Doc <laughs> Octopus? Would you say, call me Doc Octopus? Yeah, I'll, I'll Doc Ock. Uh, <laughs> call me Doc Cox, Spider Man. I'll Doc Ock, uh, t- Tom Holland. I think that could be fun. Like that? Yeah. Wow. I don't think about it a lot. R- what? What do you mean you don't think you don't think about sex with men well, a lot? But, but I, I, they, it's more. What do they call it? They call it like, uh, like you'd be bisexual, but I mostly. You know, engage. I'm mostly looking for women. Okay. You know? Yeah, aren't we all? But flexible, they call it. Hetero flexible, you know? Okay. Where I'm like, I want, I would, you know, this beautiful women is like the preferred thing, but guys are fun too, you know? That's kind of what it is. Wow. So most of the time, if I'm fantasizing, I'm fantasizing about a woman. About a woman. So Which, then you are gay. Not even close. <laughs> no, but I, I'm saying I'm open to. You don't fantasize see, about this a man. Is why I don't talk about it because everyone says you're like cheating, you know? On what? Uh, no, I typically would not fantasize about a man. Huh. But like transgender women, when, uh, you know, that's a whole other bag of worms, but they're great. You know? Okay. All right. It's like well, the best of both happy worlds. Pri- well, yeah, it is the best of both. Well, happy Pride Month. It's half hey, of both no worlds. Here. Okay. Here's, uh, here's it's that they're cra- Imagine you could take a woman and she wanted to have sex as much as a guy does. You know that's that'd be tra- awful. That's what trans women are kind of like. And that's I feel great. like you, you uh, Vito. You got to be honest. You're gonna answer honest. You promise? Sure. Ezra Miller. You clearly want to do him. Uh, I think Ezra Miller is a very attractive individual, but is way too that. crazy to uh, do anything with. So in the gay community, is crazy guys not good? The I just community. think I think Ezra Miller is like a murderer. Oh wow! I think Ezra Miller is going to murder someone the way he's been acting. They've okay. been acting. All right, but I definitely think Ezra Miller is attractive. Yes. Okay. Here's some here's some voicemails. I'll even say Ezra Miller is hot. <laughs> yeah, good for you. That fucking that sexy cowboy picture. I'm like, well, he is a good looking sexy cowboy. All right. Did you he's watch just that cowboy movie crazy. on Netflix? Benedict oh. Cumberbatch and the other guy. Do you think they were hot? No, I haven't seen that one yet. Oh, yeah, you'll like it. I don't like Benedict Cumberbuckle. He's a weird-looking guy. Okay, here's uh, from the Colin show. Hi, Dick. TV's Mr. Neal here. So, you guys had a Colin show last week. I guess I missed it. I yes. hope it's not too late for me to submit a problem. Uh, my biggest problem in the universe is people who go above your head when you're a partner on something. Like, like let's say you, you have a podcast with someone. And they decide one week when you're out of town, they go, oh. look at me. I'm half this show. I can do this on my own. And then they do the show without you, and it kind of sucks. Oh, it really no. sucks. <laughs> anyway, actually, I have another problem, totally unrelated. Uh, dickless episodes. Oh. Bye. I did see some people complaining. They said, well, if Dick's not there, there's no point in listening. Look, here's the option. Then, then just don't listen. Here's the <laughs> option, audience. You could have either had a week with no episode yeah. or a little fill-in thing that a lot of people liked. I think it could even, we could do, I could do another call-in show maybe. We'll figure it out because people liked it. 
Enough people did. Enough people liked it that it could And there be... wasn't enough hate to dissuade you from right. doing it. Like, um, we will never have another Mr. Girl episode. We know that. <laughs> when I, at least not me and Mr. Girl. Maybe he could come in when you're here to, like, help guide the thing. But that yeah. was a fucking disaster. I think we're too similar, me and Mr. Girl. Yeah, maybe. But, but <laughs> don't say you're too because... similar to Mr. Girl. You're going to get in all sorts of trouble. No, uh, I just mean specifically sure. the pedophile stuff. Okay, well... <laughs> Oh. Regardless, great call-in stream from me. I knocked it out of the park. And uh, well, let's listen to another all voicemail. Right. Hi, you Andy. Go. How you doing? The biggest problem oh, in the sorry, universe sorry. is all these fucking remakes and remasters that are coming out in the whole video game sphere. The RE4 remake. And it's going to make it more serious and less campy and fun. Leon says women verbatim twice in the fucking game, and he's not going to do it in the remake. And then The Last of Us is getting a remaster that just looks a bit better. But both of these things are completely unneeded. Both games play completely well. Yeah. Remakes and remasters are for shit like Joust or some shit that you could completely reimagine. <laughs> Stop spamming the same IP again. God damn it. See, this Make is another game. one that I would have yeah. brought in, but I'm like, ah, I've been doing too much nerd shit. But Andy, you're not a big video gamer, though. But no, uh, I mean, no. well, here's the no. comparison, Andy. Can you imagine taking a movie that was made 10 years ago and remaking the exact same movie, like exact same plot and characters? Like, do you know how ridiculous that would be? Pretty ridiculous. And that's what they're doing with video games. They're taking Last of Us, which is I think is like eight years old, and they're yeah. like, we're remaking it. And you're like, you mean you're like updating the graphics? They're like, no, we're remaking it from the ground up. And you're what like, does that mean? What? They're literally just looking at the original game, and then just another programmer is like making it look exactly the same, but slightly better that's for a dumb. modern audience. Yes, it's a complete waste of everyone's do that. time. For movies, like go back to like uh, the Polar Express, Matrix Reloaded, like fix some of the bad CG. Yeah, I kind of agree with that. I don't know why. I like George Lucas fucking around with the special edition sucked, but he did make some quality of life improvements that were like genuinely better. Mm -hmm. Like some of the Death Star CG was better. Added like some stuff, and then but then he added all these like you know monsters pooping on the ground because he thought it was funny. And you're like, look, George, it's just not. It doesn't mean the same thing. The movie doesn't mean mean the same thing. If that it's it been did. changed, it, it, even if the time has passed, yeah, like the, that amount of time. This is not the story. Is not I think if anymore. you're the creator, that you have full control over your creation to continue needling with it till the end of time. I have no problem with that. Okay, uh, here we go. Hey, Dig, hey, Vito, your old pal DP. The biggest problem in the universe is fucking steampunk anything. Mm. They have ruined cool fucking fantasy. We got, you know, fantasy over there, like, hey, what are you guys talking about? Oh, well, we're, like, talking about killing dragons and shooting fireballs, and, like, fucking big titty princesses. What wow. about you, sci-fi? What are you Sounds into? Pretty good. I'm into space lasers and going out in the universe and like Very cool. fucking cool. aliens with four cool tits. Stuff. Like that's cool fucking shit. Four tits. That's that's neat imagination. Adult imagination. And in walks the trans community no, of pop. fucking fantasy and make believe. And that's <laughs> I didn't listen this far. People. They they walk in the room and ruin it for everybody. Hey guys. <laughs> I like mustaches and, and putting uh, beers on everything. Talking about steampunk. Why no is steampunk <laughs> trans? <laughs> like, hey, can you can you leave the room? You're kind of kind of killing our vibe here. No, I like Victorian era shit and blimps. Ooh, I like I like mustaches and putting goggles on that never go on my face. Fuck you, you fucking weirdo. <laughs> never go on my face. Like fucking steampunk. True, the shit. goggles are always Pedophile. up here. Oh yeah, yeah all like the time. I said, there's a trans community. Uh, all right. I don't know why he's calling <laughs> it the know trans why community. I don't know. It was, was fine without thing. that with that well, component. But, uh, I don't know if he was trying to make some sort of weird metaphor I wasn't getting. Uh, okay, here's the la last one. Last one. And then we'll do Super Chats. Hey, Vito. Hey, Dick. Hey! I'm calling because I heard Vito on the Dick Show last week. Yeah, everybody complained about it. once again that. complaining <laughs> that he needs to lose weight. So I figured I'd offer a proposition. Vito? I will pay you one thousand dollars if you can lose seventy pounds by Christmas. I don't think it's doable by if Christmas. You fail to do so, you have to give me a thousand dollars. No, well then I'm obviously not going to accept. <laughs> so That's a terrible. We can either set it up. Yeah, that we have to lose seventy pounds by Christmas. No, no. Okay, what about if you? lose the weight you get money but if you don't lose the weight you have to send a picture of your penis 
on the internet. No, 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 no. No, no. How much money would that take? No, no. I don't want... Do mean, I don't, no, I'm no. not going to send a picture of my penis on the internet. Well, then lose the weight. <laughs> okay, well, I'll try to lose the weight, but there's no penis. How much money would it take? You need to think of a better thing than me. $1,000? The second my penis gets on the internet, all that happens is every time I try to say anything to anybody, they go, here's a picture of your penis. So you, you know, better God, lose the weight. God damn it. I know how the internet works. You have to lose 20 pounds. 20 pounds by Christmas. No one wants to see 25 my pounds. hairy Italian dork. 25 pounds by Christmas? Or you have to... And you get money, I'd have if to you do don't... A, I'd have to do a weigh-in. Yeah. Think of a different thing other than my dick. I don't want anyone to see it's my dick. Be your pe- it's gotta no, it does be, not have to be my it's penis. Not any... You don't want... It does not have to be Andy, my penis. Andy, don't you think that's a good deal? I mean, I think it's a motivator for Vito. Wait, what do I get? What do I get if I lose the twenty five pounds? Other than my penis doesn't get shown. You get a bunch of like fucking toys and video games. <laughs> well, I do like toys and video games. <laughs> See, now you're speaking my language. All right. If you said I'm going to buy you a copy of a uh, uh, Die of Hard Arcade on the Sega Saturn, I might say okay. Oh, that's a good game. That is a good game. I don't know. I don't have a copy of that, guys. This has been the biggest problem in the universe. Thank you, Andy. Thank you to our guest, Andy Signore, for bringing their great problem. And uh, bringing his audience in to say hi to us. Again, we have a bonus problem available. If you want to listen to more of the show, check out patreon.com slash biggest problem to listen to the biggest problem in the universe. Pride edition, which was a very funny episode. We argued about various uh, pride related things, uh, trying to defend our friends in the gay community who we love. I have the super chat. Wait, wait, look at this. Look at what uh, Andy sent me. Oh, are you trying to get it on the screen? Yeah, it's the Target. Pride Shop Online. It's Put a, it up to that camera that's literally right next to you. Is that working? Who is that lady? No, that's a guy. Okay, that's pretty good. I, I would say them just to be safe. <laughs> oh, yeah, okay. It's a them with the mustache. You always got to say them. Um, And it's got... See, Andy, how it has the trans stuff yeah. in the middle? I didn't realize that. Now I saw. That's the flag they had, yep. Yeah, so it's got trans, which is uh, white, pink, and blue. Pastel blue. blue. I don't know which why are like baby, baby colors. Yeah, that makes they made it very gross. I don't know, man. I don't know why did the color stuff. Why? When did a, a single color come to represent a gender? Um, We've complained about this before. That there's like a there's like the agender flag and the asexual flag. Like, do you need a flag? Well, it used to be. A little I don't boys, have any flags. Little boys used to be uh, pink. Yeah, and then it swapped for some reason. So maybe that's why transgenderism is the future. But then they have brown. That I, I guess is me. I don't really feel like I own brown, though, Mexican. But then black is definitely African-American. Did we get a bunch of Super Chats before the show started? Yeah, probably. Yes. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. From June 17th. That's today, right? Uh, Yeah. yeah. Andy, who's your co-host? That girl that was uh, yelling about Amber Heard when I was watching. Steph the Alternate. Steph Steph the Alternate. Steph, she was great. She's fun. Yeah. She's from the UK. Uh, Where in the UK? So that accent is very thick. Yeah. Uh, what's it called? Chat, help me. What's it called? I always say it wrong. Uh, Wales? I t- you, no. I don't Shire, know. Uh, Stains? The, sh- <laughs> the Shire. She's from the Shire, right, Andy? Shire, yeah. yeah, she's from the Shire. Uh, York- Yorkshire? Yorkshire. 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 Okay. Oh, she's from a Shire. Shire. There we go. People are Yorkshire. I said it right, right? Yorkshire, not Yorkshire. Yorkshire. Well, guys, I've got some super chats here. Are we ready to hear them? Yeah, go for it's it. Turkey Sandwich for four ninety nine says in Jamaica the average price of a meat pie is two fifty, but in Bermuda it's three twenty five. These are the pirates of the Caribbean. Hmm. Get it? <laughs> oh, the pirates. Oh. I got oh, it. All right, I hate you. P. Oxenham for five says can't just throw money at YouTube. I see what you're doing. I see it. What does it say? It says e fairies, oh, which have okay. preceded by the name of the platform. Andy, for you, you probably don't know this, but they try to play a game where Your they try to get explaining me again to say a certain phrase to win money and prizes. They don't actually get anything. What's the phrase? The phrase is you say it, uh, Dick. No, what's the phrase, Vito? <laughs> no, I'm not going to say it. They have to trick oh, me into I saying it. I was so it. close. Yeah, you were you were nowhere close. <laughs> Because Vito always says, he always says to be fair for everything, like how Biden says to be clear, and it's really annoying. It's and not it's annoying. Like, it's a perfectly reasonable phrase, and I would still be using it if we didn't fair, turn it into a little game it. with an uh, appropriate sound effect when I say it. Are yeah, there, but it's like, yeah. it kind of brainwashes the, you into thinking that what you're saying is fair. What, well, what I am not. saying is fair. fair. Everything I say is fair. 
Yeah. Couch. To be. Couch. 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 I hear someone yelling at somebody. Arthur Tomlinson for two says Kyle Rittenhouse would not have waited an hour. That's an argument. Nate Ring for five Couch. says flip the cameras, Couch. you dingus. I think the cameras Couch. were good, right? Yeah. Looks good to me. Uh, right. right up your alley with twenty dollars. Uh, little super sticker says goal. Ah, Lord, cool. thank goal. you for the twenty. Right up your alley, Lord Alderhart for five says we want blood. Oh, Guy Matthews for four forty nine euros. A little super chat of a little. Lead. I have no idea what that is. Thank you, Grinder Spoons for two. Says Andy sent us over. I gotta give you a spoon. Lol. What are the spoons, Andy? Is that the grinder spoon? Oh, Grinder Spoons, yes. Is that a big supporter of yours? She uh, she called in today. She's She makes Grinder Spoons. What is a grinder? For weed? Yeah, for weed. Oh, oh okay. Cool. Well, yeah, I was going to say it sounds like a drug thing. Chris Hoyt for 20 says, Randos from Popcorn Planet are in the house. Woo-hoo! Randos. I know that's the yeah. Amber Heard yeah. name for all us jerks. Life of Lee for 50 sec. Says... Cow. Let's get a new mega pint. I'm sad that he didn't say my last comment, though. I don't know if that was for you, Andy, or us. Ariane Beatty for 10. My husband is watching this downstairs while I'm upstairs. This one's for him, a true uncircumcised king. <laughs> what is that about? Again, Master, Master Sashamaru for 100 again says, Pouch from Master Sashamaru. Thank you for the 100, Master. Pouch. Me, me, what is so? Wait, what is pouch? I don't. Pouch. I go to sheathunderwear.com and you'll see it. Okay, you're all obsessed with the sheath underwear now. It's my sponsor today. They paid me, so yeah. <laughs> me zero four one two zero for five says the biggest problem in the universe is clearly video conferencing software. Yeah, it's pretty. Rough. TBF pop quiz for twenty. Adding to the evil. Here's some money. Thank you, pop quiz. Spider Eternal for five says I'm sipping my birthday Highland Park correct, eighteen. Correct. correct. I turned 39 earlier this month. Dick, what's your favorite scotch? Um, oh, God. Glen Morangie, 13. Good luck finding it. And then he asks, is Vito even a fancy liquor? I don't know what that means. Encyclopedia Faye for 10. Lol, your theme song needs to be a parody of Tribute by Tenacious D. I think me and you got to cut an album, Dick. Okay. I'm going to be the Jack Black. I got the pipes. <laughs> Gonna, you, you don't have the cock swagger, though. I, oh, I absolutely do. <laughs> really? I, I think I can make it work. <laughs> uh, Crystal DeHart for one. Thank you. Leo McCann for five. Not going to lie. Watching on Apple. It was really hard to find this channel now. FYI. I wonder if Apple has trouble uh, uh, rating people, Andy. Have you run into that at all? Yeah, a lot of people were in the comments were explaining. That apparently, I guess if it doesn't happen right away, they don't get rated later as part of the uh, other problem. Complicated. But yeah. Well, we're almost Still done here. Uh, we won't keep you too long, Andy. I mean, John, you got like 2,000 people. That was pretty good, no? Yeah, yeah it was fantastic. We normally get like 200, 300, so we deeply appreciate I mean, I'm not, it. I'm not complaining, but we had, well, I think when we left, it was 12,000 Yeah, when I was streaming. So, yeah, somehow 10,000 drop off. It's usually pretty common. I don't know why. That's. Uh, I wonder if, yeah, well, maybe a lot of people just are like done and they want to go do something else. I don't or know. They're watching earlier and they're not actually watching when you leave, when you end. It's uh, Yeah, it's possible they're AFK, maybe. Yeah. John Riffs for five says, Andy and Ralph haters are PDF files. I just want to make sure <laughs> we are clear on uh, that. Andy, do you hate Ralph? I don't know, Ralph. <laughs> <laughs> Andy tries to stay away Why from. Why don't I unite on, a, on, a, on our disdain of uh, Matt Jarbo? That's oh the God, that. yes, I do. I hate Matt Jarbo. You guys all really so, hate Matt Jarbo because he's fat and retarded. I'm just like too. Yeah, I'm wow. too nice. I always say I'm like, well, Jarbo never did. Well, no, no, no. no. So okay, what can this I is do? specifically I don't like saying his name anymore because then when you say his name, he gets an excuse to say your name. That's and true. He just loves to say everybody else's name. That's and I, all I'm sure is he just despises my success right now. I can only imagine. Ooh. So, well, that's the uh, thing is you guys are so much far above him that why even worry? I mean, you're both knocking it out I, of the park. You had me brought up. He he also thinks I like doxed him to Ralph, which I never did, and I'll just never forgive the insane. He's very Amber Heard esque in his like delusions and lies. It's really I hate he stabs him. everybody in the back and then plays like everyone stabs him in the back. It's a very weird. I can't make weird. I can't well, make heads or tails of it. I just think all us YouTube commentators, there's too much infighting, you know? 
I think I well, think Matt we all made a, gotta Matt get made together. a video about how Maddox was right in suing me. Yeah, but and wasn't that had, like eight years ago? Yeah. Yeah, and you could hold that to your grave. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and that's why you don't cross dick. That's why I know when I do eventually betray you, it will be the worst decision of my life because you will uh, remember it forever. David Gomez for 666 says the biggest problem is female exceptionalism. The oh. uh, Australian broad copying the macho weatherman problem, not getting kicked off and her doubling down. Oh, someone came on the call-in show and they said, and again, it was a female caller, and they said, you know, like when it's really cold outside, and a guy will be like, it's not even that cold. And I go, see, I think we've done this problem yeah, already. Yeah, Macho Weatherman. But he was mad because I was too nice about it. And I was like, well, because we don't get female callers. I don't want to just boot her and call her an idiot. You know, it's mm. nice a lady called in. We got we to gotta hold on to whatever female fan base we can get after some of the crazy shit you say. Yeah. Uh, Tea Talk Time says for five, she would have bled out if assaulted with a bottle because of the main artery down there, mm -hmm. not go to sleep like nothing happened. Yeah, I don't buy that. I don't buy that oh, story she was, from Amber The story Heard. is that she was stabbed with a bottle? Well, no, by it was that. No, no. She doesn't was know if the bottle was broken or not. She <laughs> literally said that. It's in. Didn't she I say she woke up and she like didn't want to move? Pressure. I felt a pressure <laughs> and then ah, the dry tearing, you know, and then, yeah, she didn't know. And then she's admitted to Camille that she was bleeding and there was a doctor and a nurse there. It's all on tape. You can listen to Australian audio and no one checks her out because she's not injured. She's yeah. a complete psychopath. I think she woke up next to some liquor bottles and she said, well, obviously those have been inside me. And you're like, you don't know that. What are you talking mm -hmm. about? Uh, ride That's dog. crazy. I love that she can't escape this in a bankruptcy too. Is that is that accurate? Like she cannot declare bankruptcy and escape the money that she owes. I think she can. One guy said she could. Oh, really? Andy? No, I think that's true. I think it's true. She can't. She and the can't insurance escape it. Was, I thought she could. Home, she couldn't escape the punitive damages. Do you know who's paying her lawyers? Who? Dick? Who? Her you home know. insurance. Uh, her home insurance. How'd she manage to make her that home happen? Insurance can cover defamation. How? You know, <laughs> I know uh, a friend of mine. Uh, knew her from way back and said Amber Heard was always trip was always freaking out because her mom was in and out of like an eating disorder clinic. Is that known? I don't know. Have you ever heard that, Andy? Like no. when she first moved to Hollywood, she like was always uh, she was freaking always freaking out. out because her mom was in and out of this like bulimia anorexia clinic. I, I was told specifically not to say it. I don't know if it's true. I think at this point you can say it. I think she has some weird, bizarre background that made her kind of nuts and made her feel like she's an eternal victim of all things. You can't recognize, hey, you're married to one of the biggest movie stars on the planet. Shut yeah. the fuck up and live a perfect life. Yeah. Like, what is your problem? <laughs> oh, my God. She had everything. I can't imagine. Jacqueline Whitting for $1.99 says, thanks with a super sticker. Now, Rye Dog for five wants us to, uh, we're going to have to roll back the tape. Maybe for next week, because he accuses me of saying, I try to be F. Oh. I try to be. All right, I'm going to give it to you. You're going to give it to him? suck cocks. Right. I'll rewind it if it's we'll not true. We'll rewind it if that wasn't one, but you got a nice suck cocks out of it. Damn it, why did I say it? Rebecca English for one ninety nine. She put a cigarette out on his face, too. Is that true, Andy? Yes. Do we, have, we have proof that she put a cigarette out on his oh, face? Yeah, yeah, but that shit doesn't matter. It's just that she wrote that big thing that got him, like, Canceled. Okay, but the point is, you don't. You wouldn't write that thing if you knew you were write, lighting cigarettes on people's faces and cutting off their fingers. Like, yeah. how crazy is she? That's crazy. Yeah. Scrappy for five says bipolar, bisexual because it's whiplash. Don't know what we want. Take it out on you, LMAO. Riley for two says the biggest problem in the universe is getting new glasses. The entire process. I agree with that. Christy Biz for two. Andy save this. Delta Chamberlain for five. Maybe the world should go back to the 40s when they only put a newspaper out once a week. That would be an interesting experiment, actually. Mm -hmm. Do we have too much news? This yes. up to the date. Yep. Constant inundation with everything. I Dempency for 10. Happy birthday to my good friend Mac. He's 26 today. Happy birthday, Mac. Isaac. Uh, <laughs> he always almost gets me. His name's Isaac and then the name of an animal. What? Isaac Cow. I suck cow. But not cow. The other one. What, bull? Cock? Shut up. Yeah, you got it. <laughs> well, whatever. Ox. His name is Ox. Oh, Isaac. Okay, okay. If I said Ox. it as I one word, Cox. it would be me saying yeah, yes. okay. If the boomers raised the millennials and Generation X is raising Generation Z, wouldn't every other generation be likely to be more similar than the one between? 
Not even going to try to think about that. <laughs> Armanzo for nineteen ninety four or no for ten dollars says, given what Andy has gone through, Smash Rooms definitely check out. Smash away, Andy. Get that rage out of you. You deserve it. Can they smash people, or because either way, I think because you've do. suffered uh, undue mm. uh, undue process against yourself. Mm. Work it out however you need to. Chrissy Lynn for five. Thanks, Andy, for bringing us over here. Best convo ever, Lowell. New sub right here. Love you guys. Thank you, oh, Christy thanks, Lynn. Chrissy. Beautiful. Vito will bend over backward to uh, entertain <laughs> whatever female. fantasy. Yeah, you're a woman. <laughs> he'll he'll say. And what is this? This is why, this is why would Kate people ask you. Desires you have. Well, who do you like? What do you want to have sex with? <laughs> this is why I don't get into it because it becomes this end of the speculation game. Because uh, your sexuality is interesting. You're all fucking tight about your sexuality. Well, because it's just, it's fluid. It's whatever strikes my fancy at the time. You know? so progressive. Do you see how he just used the word fluid I'm, so it's quickly? It's fluid. So if you say anything against me, it's a hate crime. CG for five says the black slash brown is for people of color. The trans colors are in a triangle for PDF files like Comet Ping Pong. Okay, <laughs> that's not true. That's incorrect. Baron Julius <laughs> Von Pong I heard that for two... <laughs> Hey, can we not talk about Vito's sex life? I agree with Baron. No, we have to. Riley for five says... You put a poll out. Should we talk more about his sex life? Oh, how much sex have I been having in a time of COVID anyway? I'm talking to one girl on the internet. and she lives Are you on Grindr? No, I'm not on Grindr. Are you on Scruff? No, I'm not on Scruff. It's a gayer (laughs) grinder. Scruff is a gayer (laughs) grinder. That's pretty good. That sounds pretty good, actually. Riley for five says Sydney Sweeney played Cassie in Euphoria. Sydney Sweeney, that's the one. She's a hot she's a hot lady. Oh man, I would break the law. (laughs) Don't say that. Armand is 1990 for two dollars says the last message sounded like an incel. I don't know which one he was responding to. Velda Chamberlain for two says ten pounds a month. Is doable. Thanks, I could lose ten pounds in a month. How many of these delicious monster energies am I allowed to drink? On that <laughs> oh, it's your dick mm. on the line. <laughs> How much? What, what would be worth it? Five grand? Oh, for five grand, I would probably make something happen. And yeah. your dick is on the line. You have to post your dick. You have to send me a picture of your dick, and I will post it. <laughs> if you don't, I'll write a smart contract to post your dick. If you do not weigh in. <laughs> You're going to put it on the blockchain? Yes, your dick will be on the block, on Ethereum forever. It will be Do an I NFT. get to choose the, the dick pic? Do I get to, like, groom it out? Yeah, and, like, what do you think? You're going to fucking you know, trick everyone? Will we see it? <laughs> will we see it through all the pubic hair, Vito? I, well, I don't know. That's kind of the Vito problem. Vito says he can turn his dick inside out, too. Mexican and Cheese for five says it's someone who doesn't just ironically hate Vito. Please keep gaining weight. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Max and Man. Pete Oxenham for five. Don't read my real name on stream. What the hell is your problem? Oh. oh. Uh, oh I mean, don't donate with your real name. What do you want? And Clap Trap Destroyer for two. This is, I hope Dick can flex again someday. Me too. Leo McCann for five. She can't get out of the judgment. Bankruptcy, sure, but she will still owe the money to Johnny due to being guilty of malice. Oh. He adds for another five. Also, Vito, I love you. Well, I thought the damages only, I thought only the punitive damages would stay in place. And I thought most of them weren't punitive. I don't know. That they were restorative. You know, like the idea that this is the money you lost. You get that back. And then here's some on top because we hate you. I want to see a movie yeah, where. Gonna be. What was that? Where Johnny Depp takes, up, takes on like a team of women. Yeah. <laughs> He's like, he just fucking he, armed with only backhands. A movie of just Johnny Depp. <laughs> Whop! Wow, he comes through. off female assassins. Right? Yes, yes. Well, Seth Johnson looks like he's going to close this out with a super chat for $7. No message attached. But this has been a great show with a lot of great Wait, can fun. can you play the video I sent you? I want to see Dick react to one last thing. Did you send okay, it to me on Twitter? Did you send it to yeah, Dick? Yeah, Twitter, yeah. Send it to t- Dick on Twitter right now. I just cool. did, yeah, yeah. Okay, All right, hold on. Let, hold me bring, on. let me bring it up. And I want him to watch the best. This is my favorite... Uh, like uh, on air anchor man moment ever from John Campia, who is a film pundit. We hate John Campia, right? Yeah, I'm not a fan. I don't hate <laughs> anything. I'm not a fan. All right. Let's see. We're going to have to add this okay. to the stream. You guys love to hear it, like to watch it, but this is, you guys, it's fine. As long as the dick gets Dr- to watch it. Drag it on top of the overlay, dick. Uh... You just watch it. It's fine. Okay, just play it with the audio. Okay. He'll laugh. I just John Campia. Okay, okay. I'm playing it right right now. I think you'll like it. All right. Uh, Smelly Negro. I love that name. Uh, which uh, hockey movie chant, I Swallow Nickers Come? No idea. <laughs> 
<laughs> smelly. All right. Uh, smelly Negro. I love that name. Uh, which <laughs> one likes to be chatted? I swallow Nicholas Cum. No, I <laughs> No, I don't. Uh, which uh, hockey movie chant? I swallow Nickers Cup. <laughs> There's no better super chat, uh, Frank. Oh, no, no, I don't. <laughs> that is the best. You can't beat it. Am I right? Yeah. That's pretty, that's pretty what are you doing? I just real quick want to put on the screen as we close out the show. Oh, yeah. Thanks. There we go. We okay. want to thank all our f biggest supporters. Including Smelly Knee. Nope, not him. <laughs> Anyone but I'm gonna him. get Peter to say that, please. No, please. no, 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 no. I'm not no. getting canceled. I, I know they've gotten me though. I've got. I've been got. I love that name. Do it. I love that name. Says John Campia. <laughs> Well, thanks to all our top supporters, all the dickheads and veto files. Don't forget to check out patreon.com slash biggest problem to support the show and access all the bonus episodes. Get all the biggest problem you deserve as a fan. Yeah. Thanks for coming by. Thanks, Andy, for being here with us. Thanks, Andy. Thanks for having me. Very fun. I'd happily come back just as long as you guys prep better. <laughs> we're, we're, we're getting there. Literally. I literally streamed for 10 hours today and I still came and kicked your ass. Yeah, you whatever. Did. I'll have better problems next week. Yeah. You should have played to your strengths. You next tried time, to do one. Next week, I will play to my strengths. All right. I'll do a stupid nerd problem. And Congratulations on all your success, it. Andy. It's really great we to love see Andy you. Andy on top. Thank you to Popcorn Planet. We love you all. Okay, bye, guys. Bye bye. I got to piss.